Holiday season can be fun, but with so many things to do, it can bring some stress as well. Well, in order to de-stress today, we bring in Jeremy Amorosi. You're a therapist extraordinaire. You're also a professional cheerleader. And when we say cheerleader, there's a different connotation to that. We'll explain that in a moment. But thanks for joining us here today. Uh, so you have some ideas on how to relax at home. You don't even have to go out. What are some quick and easy ways to do that? I think first and foremost, to go get and receive hugs. When doing so, you're opening up muscles in the back, opening up muscles in the front, and who doesn't love a hug? Yeah. Um, the other thing you can do are simple stretches for your neck if you're at the computer and you're working away and working away and you get start to get fatigued, you can always stop what you're doing, take a deep breath, close your eyes, maybe 30 seconds, uh, stretch forward, stretch backward, uh, side to side, which probably you're already doing anyway. Yeah. Um, there's amazing little things you can do for your hand. There's little tools you can use. Yeah. Um, this is one of my favorite. It's called the thummy. But you can use a tennis ball or a racquetball. Wherever your sore spot is, put the pointy end at it. And that's and like for tension spots? So correct. Yeah. So if I put it here and Oh, you hit the spot right there. Nice. Pushed in, oh, I kind of know where they are. OK, I'm de-stressed um, already. That's pretty Fantastic. <laughs> um, then you can use things like rollers. Um, this one is made by TheraBand. But um, it's kind of like a rolling pin for your pie crust. But you would put it like this. OK. And then wherever, up in here, like there. Yes. So um, by putting a little bit of pressure and pulling down. Oh, man. You can have it start to ease out the tension that is already in there. Yeah. Um, if you use heat first and then a roller or some kind of instrument or tool, um, it will be more effective. If you do that when you're done, then you ice it to help remove what you broke up. Well, let's talk about like you know a lot of people when they go out shopping or you know when when they look for gifts, you spend a lot of money when you go to get a like a massage, for example, to kind of de-stress. But what are some techniques that you can do to kind of you know do that yourself? I mean, we talked about some of these here, but are there right. other ways to do that? Other ways of de-stressing? Yeah. Um, so I think meditation is something that's A, it's free, and two, it's very easy. And if you don't know how, there's really no way that you have to do it. And there's apps you can find that will help you with different ideas of meditations. Um, the other way is, I would say, having a nice long soak in a tub, um, whether it's uh, one with bubbles or if you add Epsom salts, yeah. different kinds of them. Those are great and easy. Uh, I find, especially like if I'm shopping and I'm just like over all the people, I'll, you know, rub my temples. They make aromatherapy you could use, like peppermint or something. That kind of peppermint is invigorating and living. So if you like put it on your hands and kind of just rub it in your temples and yeah. help de-stress that way. Yeah. Um, and I think the easiest one is to just take deep breaths. Deep, deep breaths. Um, a lot of people, you know, they, they do yoga as well. Is there a particular stretch that you can do to kind of de-stress as well? I don't know that there's one specific one that would yeah. be any better than the other. I think that would determine upon what parts of your body are more stressed. Yeah. You know, if it's your back. Well, say you're, you're like a desk at home or something like that. What can you do there? And that's at home, then you're, I would say that your low back would be the first one to yeah. start get tired. Your neck and shoulders would be neck, um, there. So I would interlace your fingers behind your back and then pulling your, um, pulling, placing them behind your back, pulling your shoulders back, pulling it straight down and getting it through. Getting that right the posture there. Yeah. Good posture, but also just opening up the pectoralis major and minor, the muscles in the chest that get really tight as we kind of fall into each ourselves as we're stressed. Yeah. Um, the other one I would do would be for your low back and for your glutes, if you put your um, ankle on your knee when you're sitting and then lean forward, you'll feel the stretch really fast. Yeah. And if you don't, then try to touch your toes. Yeah. And if that doesn't bother you in the slightest, then you're doing good in that area, I'd yeah. say. Okay. Um, the other way would just be a simple bending over and reaching towards your toes. You don't have to touch your toes, but just allowing the hamstrings and your calf muscles to relax and start to open up, get, increase the blood flow. Um, and of course, Always drink more water. Oh, yeah, that's a big key for sure. All right, Jeremy, thank you so much. So to help you de-stress, we're giving away five $100 gift cards to Massage Envy on our Q13 Fox Facebook page. Just be sure to give it a shot, and uh, that is sure to help toward a stress-free holiday season. No doubt about that. Thank you so much for joining us, Jeremy. Appreciate it. Uh, look forward to de-stressing when I get home, that's for sure. Uh, let's go to MJ right now, and she's practicing de-stressing yeah, as we speak. That really does help the back. Ah, oh, it feels good. All righty there. Whoa. Okay. Just don't fall down. We've got some.